The cast is essentially two or three layers. The first layer is a soft sock-like layer that goes on over your injured extremity. Then comes padding, which is just like a gauze-like padding that they wrap over that sock. And then is the fiberglass layer, which is the pink layer that you see here on me. And that is a two-layer adhesive fiberglass or plaster layer that they put on. Hi, my name is Ashley Wilson and I'm an occupational therapist, certified hand therapist at Parkview Huntington Hospital. Today I'm here to talk to you about cast care like this one I have on today. So we wanna make sure that the cast doesn't get wet or dirty. So you can take an old sock and you're just gonna cut it at the top for your fingers and then you're gonna cut a small hole for your thumb. This is nice for when you might go play a sport or be out in the garden. You can take this sock and put it over the cast to help cover, keep it clean. So a couple of hacks on how to control odor are simple things that you have around the house. Some dryer sheets, you just take the dryer sheet and rub it on the outside of the cast. The next thing that you can do is you can make a simple solution of some essential oils. It takes about two drops of essential oil to about a tablespoon of alcohol. The alcohol is important, don't mix it with water. The alcohol will help it evaporate to keep your cast dry. But also what you can do is just dab a finger onto the essential oil and just put on the lining, like the sock lining of the cast. If you find that the odor just keeps getting worse, seek out help. There could be skin damage or some kind of infection brewing underneath your cast. That means it's time to get it changed. Another reason why you might get the cast removed is if it feels like it's pushing pressure to the underlying structures, or if there's a dent or a divot that you can see from the outside of the cast. The cast can also become itchy. That doesn't mean that it needs changed, but ways to deal with that is if you tap the cast, it'll help with the itch. This usually occurs when the bones underneath are healing. Please don't stick anything underneath your cast. So it's unfortunate I have my cast on my dominant hand. I'm right-handed. How am I going to write? The cast can make it bulky and hard to reach the paper and to put your hand around the pen. So the next hack is to take a little foam ball or a stress ball and put your pen through it. Seek help for this step, it can be fairly difficult. You place it in your hand, gently around the ball, and you can write. Try to write slowly, it'll help with legibility. So I have a pop socket on the back of my phone here, and what that does is it pulls out and allows you to be able to slip it into your fingers to hold nice and easily, so you can scroll, or even scroll with your thumb on the other side. Another idea is these Legos. So you take two Legos, you affix one to your cast, wherever you'd like it. And then the other Lego gets attached to the back of your cell phone case so that you can hook it on to your cast. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope these tips and tricks give you a little bit of a break.